heart in the crossfire <laughs> So we got some things to discuss this morning. The Terry Gadrad situation, and I don't know if you recent you guys recently read um, Terry Gadrad wrote a very lengthy article of which I'll read some. It was very long, and when somebody writes such a long article on social media, you realize something touching them. Um, but I'll give my take on that and my experience as a Guyanese, not a Guyanese artist. But as a Guyanese, and I could speak to certain things, I could speak to Terry Gadraj's story. Viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News, where we discuss news about Guyana and the diaspora. Before we continue the video with Guyanese critics addressing Terry Gadraj's latest and lengthy comments on Facebook, we are going to address James Bond. But before that, please subscribe to Guyanese News leave a thumbs up and leave a comment so you will be a part of the discussion after this photograph that is seen on your screen with former member of APNU James Bond and current vice president of Guyana Mr. Barra Jaglio went viral on Guyanese social media James Bond has been getting a lot of scrutiny and a lot of backlash because members of the APNU supporters is claiming that James Bond sell out the people them and switch to the other party and the reason why they are making this allegation that James Bond is a sellout is because of this clip check out this clip and then we are going to continue and what is your take on don't and, tell me about no high thoughts. office right don't Aside. tell me about no high office uh, it is in the highest of office I've been disrespected as a black woman you know what I'm telling you I went to I went to that parking lot place and that guy walked me up a hotel step as a woman and tell me to get my black mother so and so. He said to me, I, I hate every black people. I went on this whole country. I went to the parliament. Kwame disrespected me and cost me and called me a whore. What did the speaker do? He wrote Barjag your letter and tell Barjag you, oh, if this guy can't behave himself, he can't come back here. But when I said bum out, all of you went there to discriminate me. But let me tell you something. This is not about no high office. This is about my life. Black life matters. It got to end. I'm not in for it. I am here in my own independent capacity. Oh. You see this t-shirt that got rooms on it. This is the local. Let me tell you something. I got some assault for y'all in this country. You all over doing the do now. Are you going out there to, to listen to this boy here, this clown, this disrespectful fella? What you can tell us? I want you to write black and I could read Mondel. Mm -hmm. I can read. And I'm here representing every guy in this. People die for one nation, one destiny. Right. People die for togetherness. Right. And you come in division, glad that singing now, I got to get it right. Get it right. Put all the politicians back to the table. That is a video, as you could see, with former MP of Guyana from the APNU political party, Simona Brooms, making some serious allegations that she was assaulted by Kwame. We all know it's Kwame, a member of the PPP regime. And that is one of the reasons why APNU supporters is claiming that James Bond sell out APNU. We know James Bond was embroiled in a big scandal concerning how much millions of dollars. So we know James Bond is all about money. So it wouldn't be surprising if he was offer a deal where we cannot refuse. The first time James Bond has been accused of being a backstabber of the APNU Members them is the first time he was photographed with Mohammed doing circle around the country and making some outlandish comments. Then there this photograph here, as you could see, is proof the pinnacle that he is linking with the opposite party. So right now APNU political party is in serious trouble because a lot of high profile members have been defecting. Even the new Amsterdam mayor switched alliance and joined the PPP party. So this is Guyanese News. Leave a comment in the comment section and tell the people them if you feel James Bond sell out or we just working for the betterment of Guyana. Um, so we got some things to discuss this morning. The Terry Gadrad situation. And I don't know if you recent you guys recently read um, Terry Gadraj wrote a very lengthy article of which I'll read some. It was very long and when somebody writes such a long article on social media you realize something touching them um 
but I'll give my take on that and my experience as a Guyanese, not a Guyanese artist, but as a Guyanese. And I could speak to certain things. I could speak to Terry Gadraj's story because of the fact that Terry Gadraj, um, and you guys could have your input here, right? Who knows Terry, who got different opinions? Um, you know, I know Terry personally. I've known Terry personally for a number of years now, and we speak frequently. Terry doesn't come to Guyana without saying hello or hi. Um, you know, we'd miss each other's parts sometimes because I might be in the country, he might be in the country, things like that. But nonetheless, um, Terry Gadraj, if you know or you, 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 you ever met him, would realize he's an all wrong nice guy. He's always got a smile and he is one of those real patriotic Guyanese. Terry Gadraj is a, is a genuine patriot. Um, no, there are many, you know, they are, they walk into the studio and there was, um, this, this artist, uh, a black guy and always got a cool demeanor, always got a positive approach. Um, oh, shucks, I forget his name. He been out with Melody the other day. We had a program, um, on TBN and he was on, he did an interview with Melody Mandela. I think it's Mandela, is it Mandela? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mandela. Right. So first thing, I gotta read the story to get the context of the discussion that I'm having. And recently, Terry Gadraj was awarded by Trinidad, was given an award by Trinidad. And his whole life, he's been a, uh, basically soca artists and 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 um you know he's been promoting Guyana all around the world everything Terry does is about Guyana people have their I, I read it in some between whatsapp warriors people talking about Terry giving a little Naboji and Akin. everybody giving everybody little boys giving big men little yes a little big men giving little boy little so I don't know give me a little Naboji how that becomes a a, a, a thing and people to be offended by you understand because it's a low life hungry belly culture this is where we is we is a low life hungry belly culture you understand and when you listen to the derogatory music we're coming out now about women and putting women down and how they're referring to women and violence I don't know how Terry Gadrat sang give me a little Nabauchi offense I, I see it in one of the WhatsApp group they on a forum right bear ignorance People who have never done nothing to contribute to this country. You could talk about a man, one song um, from a man who has sing hundreds of songs about promoting Guyana that were positive. And you got one, Rum Shop song, Give Me a Little Nabauji. Yes, Give Me a Little Nabauji. Nobody never know. You understand? Give Me a Little. Nobody never know. Let me keep it a secret. You got a song come out, we got no. Nobody not gonna know. Nobody got damn problem. Um, Terry Gadrash prop song is a problem. Now let me tell you where the dilemma that we are in today. This is the Guyanese critic take. We are in a dilemma. And I gotta read a piece of Terry's story. Yeah, I gotta read the story, but I am giving you know I read a piece, a lengthy story. But I understand where Terry is coming from because I meet artists who continually complain about the lacking of support in the cultural industry. You understand? I'll speak about the Minister of Culture, I'll speak about the Ministry of Culture. Right? I give me take because I could talk. I could talk about the Ministry of Culture. I is Guyanese, I dead on here. I know what's going on. I got personal experiences where I can talk. Right? So lots of artists over the years. Lots of artists over the years have been past the side and left the side. Now, Terry felt hurt. And I know it comes from as a man who's dedicated your whole life to loving and caring for your country. Terry come from being a teacher. You gotta read Terry's story. Terry come from being a teacher, playing the guitar, singing song. Terry is doing what he loves. 
And yesterday I was talking to Roshan on the phone. Terry will buy the way Terry will be in the country. And tomorrow, and me, he can sit down and we can do a lengthy interview. Maybe two, three hours where I visit. Lee pour his heart out. Right? I give him me take now for tomorrow. We can do a program. Yes, there will be a Sunday program with me and Terry. When Terry comes into the country, he got some things to do. But me, he can sit down and do a program. Where Guyanese will hear what he has to say. Right? Now. In general, as Guyanese, we have been weak on culture. In general. It's not a PNC thing. It's not a PPP thing. It comes true. We have been a weak people as it relates to culture. Look at what's going on. Something might be going on in Trinidad. Anywhere in the world you go, you know something going on in Guyana. Because you get negative reviews from Guyanese about Guyana. Something might be going on in Trinidad. I just recently spoke um, to a senior police officer who made me aware that the death rate is very high in Trinidad. Seven people were murdered one day in one of them islands. Nothing of the starting area, but Guyana is the worst country in the Caribbean, in the Commonwealth. You understand? And who propagates that? Who goes out there and promotes that Guyanese? You understand? So when it comes to culture, Guyanese are the worst. So imagine the people who come through the, come through the, and gone to a certain level. I too could be blamed. Like I don't like cricket. And why? Personally, I talked to a Trinidadian at a time. Right? Hello, good morning. Hello? No, you got the wrong number. Yeah. Right? I personally remember going to Providence and, and felt so seeing the cricketers exercising. Chandra Paul was the, 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 the trainer for one team and there was a Jamaican. I spoke to the Jamaican team. I spoke to the Jamaican trainer. DJ Stress was there. I remember. And when I got to Chandra Paul, Chandra Paul didn't want to talk. And I took offense to that and never, never. Is the other day I go back and say, watch, we there, we got we CPL, we promote um, cricket. I don't too like Chandrapal. I don't want to hear nothing about Chandrapal. When I hear about Chandrapal, I just get vexed. Chandrapal has done great for cricket. As a result of my experience, I ain't too, and I am no cricketer. I ain't no cricketer. But if you got something, I can promote us about telling you I left Chandrapal behavior as it relates to cricket and promoting cricket left a bitter taste in my mouth. Every time I tell people about the people say banner the banner too bright and you know you don't know for talk and somebody you know for play cricket. You understand? It's sad that our people are not well rounded with the ability to promote us culturally. Right? So I tell you no Is the blood clot? Is this man just drive through traffic light? So now, Terry Gadraj, right? His whole life, he's worked tirelessly. And here now, nobody has a bad word or a bad thing to say about Terry Gadraj. I know Terry Gadraj. I was telling Roshan yesterday. I said, man, I understand. I feel Terry's pain. But you know Terry nice till he ship it. And Roshan said, a day you tell Terry in the car. Because Terry always has a smile. I want to know, does this guy have down days? Terry always has something positive to say. Terry has by nature an uplifting spirit. You understand? Terry has an uplifting spirit. Never has anything to put people down. Always positive. So imagine going your whole life and then Trinidad going to give you an award. You understand? 
No, I blame us all. For not. Hello. Hello? Morning, yeah. Um, could you talk to her? What was it? Tell me quickly. Oh, I have an issue here, man. I have Glenn Rock as well, right? Send the details to me on WhatsApp and let me see how I can help you. You're at Len um, Lenora Hospital right now? Yeah, they don't have bandage in the uh, in the section where you have to get. You have to walk with your wound bandage. It's not, you know, there's a set of people. I don't know what's going on and I, I, I hear the government talking how much they will help and what's their bandage. This is a uh, embarrassment. You're the Lenora Cottage Hospital. And what are you there to get done? I have to get injection and I have to get bandage every day for changing a bandage on my feet. But I have to buy my own bandage and bring it to the hospital every day I come in here. You got me? Yeah, so you go you go to the hospital every day to get one week I am here. Okay, so to get uh, uh maybe uh, something uh, dressed. I get I get infected on my on one of my foot. I'm okay, a you're a diabetic patient, but yeah. I have, yeah, I have to buy my dressing every day from the pharmacy out on the, on the road and bring it to the hospital. There is no dressing in the hospital. At the Lenora Cottage Hospital? Well, I'll make it public yes. and, 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 and we, the we bandage, will... Yeah, the bandage, is, is the bandage I'm talking about. Right? All right, all right, I will find out what's going on. Yeah, this is a serious thing, man, and very embarrassing. Yeah. Safe. Yeah. Okay, buddy, so you heard Lenora Cottage Hospital. Um, patients are claiming they don't have bandages. And again, before we go in and, 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 and work and get in bandages for tie up everybody's foot, y'all live a healthier life. Y'all live a healthier life. Don't end up like the Carlo. Don't end up like the Carlo. You understand? Do things that you can control in your life. Don't end up like the caller, but that should not be. Because indeed, as he's saying, the government is claiming how much money they're spending the hospital. All these new hospitals are billing. Where it gonna be? Empty shells. If the hospitals don't come with proper service, they serve no purpose. You understand? Good. So back to regular programming. Terry Gadraj. And I will have a whole lengthy interview with Terry Gadraj and we get an in-depth time. I'm giving my understanding of what's going on and where we need to be as a people. We're not a very patriotic people. If you go all over, you don't see Trinidadians fighting. Nobody's anywhere you got Guyanese. Oh God, Guyana falling apart, don't go down there. You understand? Trinidadians represent, Jamaicans represent, everybody represent. That is why we have not been, we got an Olymp Olympic Association is a total waste of time. You understand? We have not been able to promote and get athletes out there that are of any standard. You understand? Because we culture is rum shop and minibus culture. We conscious low life and hungry belly. That's how you could have a trained police officer go and thief the first lady ring. You understand? We culture is a low life hungry belly one. That is Chinese culture. Low life and hungry bellyism. You understand? That is a matter of fact. We have to change that situation. We have to change that outlook on our society. You understand? You imagine you are to protect the first lady and you is the thief. How can you trust these people? How can you trust anybody? We are so lacking of discipline and self-respect. Your job is to protect the first lady. You turn out to be a thief. Well trained by the Guyana police force. A thief man. A low life and hungry belly. That is Guyanese culture. 
Guyanese cultures rum spot rum shop sport go home and beat up your wife and so that's we culture that has to change we all have to play a role when you go to the rum shop listen to local music you go listen to what they're listening in the clubs and the disco you go listen you believe anybody listening to we music Guyanese music in 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 panama i went to panama beautiful um spanish rhythms Panamanian music, Jamaica, nice Jamaican music. You have to start working. We have to start working within. What Terry Gadraj is saying is gospel truth and he's hurt. That is his honest opinion. But it is a Guyanese thing that we lack empathy. We lack patriotism. We lack that drive that would allow us to nurture our own culture we lack that love and respect for our own you understand that is what we have to nurture and at this time the ministry of culture in its present state with its minister can't do that the minister of culture think it's and jams and football is culture that's the honest truth I have been with the, the Minister of Culture across this country and he has renovated and doing back different grounds and all them thing now, right? They are not new. They should have been maintained all the time. Governments have to do that. But he is not necessarily the person to take Guyana forward culturally. Yes, sir. He is just a privileged kid. And lion politician, privilege your whole life. Yes, sir. He ain't no but no struggling artist. 